Yeah, and there's no doubt about that. I think he plays within the confines, obviously, really well. But I think his coach and I have talked about it's it's that next step and it, it really is, is unique. It kind of separates him. This is against USF coach earlier in the season. He sees that blitz up top, right? Yeah, well, here's the thing I like about Cam Ward. You know, we didn't even show his great throws on this film. Right, this shows his command as a player. Right, he's kind of baiting the defense, makes them show what they're doing. Then he has enough command in the offense to redirect the protection on third down and 13, so he protects himself. And now you're going to see him read left to right. Hit the guy over the middle for a first down on third and 13. Yeah, I mean, most quarterbacks can't take charge and control the protection, make the reads, make the throws. He can do it all. I, I love how he saw he, the hard cap. The linebacker came up. He recognized it. Gets up, checks the line, able to take care of himself, and then makes the play. Here we go again. You always got to worry about him recognizing things late. Well, he's got great instincts. I think this is the best play that shows the instincts. They're running a little mesh route here where they're running across. Right, but he feels pressure. Doesn't he, that's, this is like a no-look pass by a point guard in basketball. Watch him. He's reading down the field. He gets pressure. He finds a check down, throws it, converts third down and six. I mean, that's great instincts to know exactly where all of his players are. Now, here you, have, you get trips up top. You get a single receiver down here. Third down. Once again, he recognizes right away what he has to do. Bad. Poor pass rush lanes, he sees it, he can beat you with his feet and his legs. So now he's going to run and make the first down here. First scramble. How often do you see a quarterback, sometimes they want to get out early, sometimes they stay too long. Here's a guy that has the ability to get out, but I love how he sees, okay, it's third down. He knows the situational awareness. He knows exactly, look, he doesn't hesitate. He can quickly fix up that first down. And I think one of the things a lot of athletic quarterbacks do is they don't step up in the pocket. They think they can run around people and extend plays. This is really a key to it is when you step up in the pocket, you put pressure on the defense. He can still throw the ball down the field or he can take off running. And the Strepo right here, good effort. Love to see those receivers. When he takes off, they're involved in getting involved in the in the blocking to help their quarterback out. All right, we got one more. Uh, sorry about this. This is last year when in Washington State and Cal. This is his strength. This guy's 225 pounds. It's not like he's a lightweight. Hard to sack. But this is the other key ingredient to being a great player. Is he gets away from the rush, keeps his eyes downfield, and he's going to make another conversion because they can't get him on the ground. So now, one hand on the ball is the one thing I don't like. <laughs> one thing he needs to improve on is not turning the ball over. But this is an outstanding quarterback who has command, who has instincts, who has running ability, and there you see he's tough to scrap. He's tough to sack because yeah. of his ability to scrap one throw. Yeah, and it's one thing to get to him. It's another thing to bring him down. We mentioned 225 pounds. He's talked about having hate in his heart. It's part of his journey. You don't hear that often from quarterbacks. And I'll say this, Miami hasn't had a quarterback since Ken Dorsey, a guy that can win a championship. This is a big opportunity on the road tonight, obviously, here at Cal.